Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com and today just going to deal with some products uh, here, patch cords and different types of patch cords that you use in computer cabling. You can also use voice over IP, use these patch cords. Um, but we just want to talk about the different qualities. Our parent company, Nova Voice and Data Systems, has been in business for about 25 years and we have installed networks all over the country. We've installed hundreds of thousands of patch cords. So we've learned some lessons in the last 25 years about patch cords and about uh, what they do and what they can do for you and where the problems are. I'm going to pass on some of those lessons to you today. So we got different types of patch cords here and I'm going to show you the strengths and the weaknesses of each one. So let's start out with uh, this patch cord here. Actually these two are the same. And this is your basic patch cord uh, that may have been made by an individual, don't know. But these are the patch cords you want to avoid. So when you get on the internet, these are going to be the cheapest patch cords that you're going to buy. And they're not very good. And the reason why is you have that little connection there. And again, this is an 8 position, 8 conductor plug, often referred to as an RJ45. And it has that little clip there that holds it in place. Now the problem is, is when you have it connected and you need to move the patch cord, you got to push this down to remove it. But sometimes there's other cables wrapped around it, things like that. And as you try to remove it, it gets caught. And then as you pull, what happens is, did you see that? It damages the patch cord. You can't use that anymore. You plug that into the wall, it's not going to stick, it'll eventually move out on its own because the little clip there is not there to hold it in place. This is a throwaway cable. You get a lot of these cables when you buy products uh, on the internet, you know, and they throw in a, a patch cable uh, for you. You know, like if you buy a, uh, a DSL modem or, or something like that, they'll, they'll throw in some cheapo cables like this. We do not sell these type of patch cables, even though they're profitable because they're so inexpensive. You can buy them for pennies on a dollar and then sell them uh, and advertise them, and it's always going to be the lowest advertised price. Some of the problems also is if you pull real hard on these sometimes, as you see, and I'm not actually pulling that hard, they tend to come apart. And if you have a lot of patch cables in your uh, switches and hubs and, and patch panels and all, they all kind of weigh on each other and they weigh down like this. So this is a throwaway cheap cable um, that will eventually cause problems in your network. Uh, the weight constantly pulling down on it. What you will find out is everything's working okay today. A month from now all of a sudden you're having issues. It will cost you more money, more than what you saved on this cable to use it in your network. And the next cable we're going to look at is this cable. Now this is an okay cable. Uh, it's also a handmade cable and there's nothing wrong with handmade cables if you like making them and we have the products online to make them but patch cables are so inexpensive today and and you can buy high quality ones for not you know not at all very expensive that we do not sell this type of cable either it does have some advantages has a strain relief there so it doesn't you know bend it to a point of putting stress on the cable itself it releases that strain gradually as it goes in and it has this kind of cover to it, which is kind of nice. But if you look at it, it still does not really compare to the cables that we sell. And this is the cable we sell. Take a look at this cable. First of all, we got a, a bubble boot here. And the reason for that is as you pull it out, like, you know, I wrap this cable around it here, and I'll show you. As you pull it out, it's not going to catch that little connection there, a little plastic connection and rip it off like it did at the beginning of the video. So you have a little bit of protection there as you pull it out amongst all the cables. The other thing is it does have a strain uh, relief right here. So it has a boot strain relief but if you look real close you can see that the plastic has been injected but almost all the way up to the conductor. That is not going to pull apart. This strain relief and this boot has been molded right on to the RJ45. That's why this is the type of cable that we use in our parent company, Noah Voice and Data, and we've been cabling for 25 years, and we use these very cables that we offer to you on the website. Can't beat the price of these cheapos, but we can beat the quality at a reasonable price. It's not going to give you problems a year from now. It's going to look good. It's professionally made. It's solid. It has, you know, everything in there you could possibly uh, need. And that's why we sell this cable. What we sell on our website 
or the parts that we use every day when we cable buildings, banks, commercial buildings, big corporations when we do their data center, we use these products, our patch panels, our, our patch cords, uh, our cable, everything that we offer to you, our jacks, are the very things that we use every day on our cabling jobs that we do for other companies. And since Nova gives out a 15-year warranty for our installation, for that cable installation that we provide for those companies, once we install that cable, we're standing behind those parts for 15 years. Uh, what we're offering on the website, it's things that we have confidence in that will be absolutely the best quality and the lowest possible price. We always try to be the lowest possible price so that you know you're getting a good deal. You're not going to get this junk. You're going to get good quality patch cords and other products at a reasonable price. Again, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Thank you for watching our video.